Karen, uh, you are an astronaut and we're here to talk about fashion. Um, can you <laughs> tell me a little bit about Zvaha and kind of how you got involved and, and how, how, what that looks like? What is the intersection of space and fashion? Well, this, you know, once I retired from NASA last year, I, I really wanted to get into some things that I was interested in growing up, which is sewing and art and design and crafting and all those things. And so, um, you know, I just started started spending a lot more time on art and um, got my website going and then was contacted by the owner of Spaha asking, you know, Jaya asking, is there any way we can work together? And that just seemed like a really neat way to um, kind of bring my, you know, the artistic side that I want to want to bring out. And then the clothes that they make is, are, of course, STEM or STEAM themed. And they're very unique clothes, kind you know, um, if you go and look online at what they sell, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of areas of science, technology, engineering, and math that they, that they have their clothes and arts. And so I was like, yeah, let's, let's work together and um, see if I can come up with a design for your clothes. Fantastic. So tell me about your design. I see that you're currently wearing what looks yeah. like dinosaurs in space. Could you <laughs> tell, tell me about the whole process, the journey creatively. I, I'm so curious. Yeah. Well, when we did some brainstorming about the design, the, the, um, the dinosaur that I made for my son in space came up in the conversation and I know they were interested then, well, maybe dinosaurs in space. And at first I was kind of just doing space design and, and nothing was really um, gelling in the, in the you know, trials I was doing. And so I started thinking about the dinosaurs and I asked my son what his four favorite dinosaurs were. And then he brought me his models and I looked up you know, what they might look like and started drawing them. And then I thought it would be fun to make them because to connect with my experiences in space was looking at earth through the cupola. And so I decided to, you know, make these dinosaurs as if they're in a spaceship and they're looking back at Earth. And um, yeah, so with my my son's four favorite dinosaurs and then also the toy dinosaur that I made for him floating in the in the cupola window there. That's that's what we ended up with. I love that both prehistoric and futuristic. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I love I love that combination. Um, now, you know, I know that just in general, you're a very creative person. Um, you mentioned the dinosaur that you made for your son and brought to space. Uh, could you tell me a bit just in general about your creative side? Yeah, I started sewing and crafting and doing all sorts of things like that when I was really little. My mom is extremely talented um, seamstress and knitter. And she would, you know, she would work on flower arrangements and all sorts of crafty, um, artistic things. And she taught me to sew when I was really young. Um, I don't even remember. I was probably six or seven when I was first at the sewing machine sewing. And so I just became really interested in it. Through high school, I would make a lot of my own clothes. Um, I would make, through college, I would make gifts for people, make quilts and pillows. And um, I decorated my son's nursery before he was born with classic poo. And then I redecorated his room with dinosaurs when he was four. And I just always done that. In fact, you know, in a lot of ways, it was almost more of a passion for me when I was young than space, because I was not the kid who, I mean, I was passionate about both, obviously, and I really wanted to be an astronaut since I was really little. But in my free time, I didn't necessarily read science fiction and do a lot of the things and draw pictures of myself as an astronaut and things like that that a lot of kids did. I, I'd spent a lot of time drawing, but I would draw pictures of people and I would sew and, and almost spend more time involved with that sort of thing. So it's, I think it's kind of a natural direction for me to go now. I love that. Yeah, I think a lot of people might be surprised, like, like Karen, she's an astronaut, but she's doing fashion and there's dinosaurs and cool steam things. Um, but it seems like it, it really is just an, an obvious natural progression, you know, given your varied and, and interesting background. It really is. It really is. And I, I could spend hours sewing when I was, you know, and it, a lot of times for me, it was a release um, when I was an engineering student and when I was an engineer and when I was an astronaut and I could spend a weekend sewing and creating things. And it just was just helpful with, with just, you know, making it through the harder times and the more difficult experiences and, and just kind of a release for me. Absolutely. Now, you know, I know that many astronauts over the years have talked about 
kind of the emotional or kind of artistic side to going to space, you know, the overview effect and, and kind of how that changes you as a person psychologically, etc. I'm curious, as a creative person, how has being an astronaut, how has going to space influenced your creativity and these other passions of yours? Well, kind of one of my goals now, because I did have that unique experience and I was so lucky, like all the astronauts that have been able to, to see earth from space and have that perspective shift that is real. And it's, it, I mean, it's really there and it, it's, it happens. Um, and I'm excited now to be able to, to use my art and that sort of thing. And, and just kind of share that and bring awareness, bring awareness to you know, how special earth is really um, to us as a human species. And, and I'm doing that with a lot of different partnerships. I also have, I'm working with Robert Kaufman Fabrics and working on a, a fabric line with them um, and a thread line with Orifil Threads wow. and all of it kind of to bring awareness to, to earth. Absolutely. I mean, in, in your space dinosaur print, you could say that these dinosaurs are experiencing the overview effect in the print itself. And that's actually kind of my thought. It, one of my thoughts as I was doing the design is like, what if these dinosaurs had been in a spaceship and left Earth before the asteroid hit? Um, of course, my son would have a problem because these I, I don't think all these dinosaurs are from the same era. So he would say they could never be in a spaceship together. But, um, but um, yeah, so it's like the dinosaurs, you know, left Earth and now they're coming back and, and seeing it in, in all of its beauty. I would, I would read that science fiction book. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I would read that. Um, <laughs> no, that's fascinating. And that's so exciting that you're forming even more partnerships kind of in fashion and design kind of, you know, all kind of stemming back to STEM um, and, and your experiences as an astronaut, as an engineer. Uh, I'm curious in terms of design, in terms of, you know, using your passion for science, for space, as well as fashion, what's next? Or do you plan to create new patterns, you know, new designs, expand. I'm so curious what, what to expect. Well, as, as far as my artwork, I've started a collection called Earth Views where I've taken some of the photos that I took from space and am making them into fabric um, art pieces. And I would like to continue doing more of that. I have two right now and I'm hoping to continue that. Um, I'm also working on a piece of the space shuttle, a space shuttle launch, which I was hoping to get finished before the 10th anniversary of the last space shuttle launch, but I don't think that's going to happen. So <laughs> art doesn't always take the, the path that you're hoping, but, but it'll get done eventually. Um, so yeah, so I, I would like to, to continue, you know, doing more art pieces, make a huge collection of some of the pictures that, because I loved taking pictures when I was in space. That was one of my favorite things to do. Um, and so not just to share them, the actual photo, but to share my fabric interpretation of it. I'm really excited to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I know the cupola is a little smaller than people might imagine, but I, I, I could only imagine, you know, being in space that everyone probably wants to be there, looking back at Earth, taking photos all, all of their time. <laughs> it is the best place to be, definitely.